you did a deep dive to see this connection between mental disorders and psychiatric challenges in those people with type 1 diabetes. Tell us what you found and how prevalent this association is. So when you talk about mental health, we know right now on average in patients with my disease, type 1 diabetes, we are expected to see lower IQs on average. These are systematic analyses that have done meta-analyses of literature and kids with type 1 diabetes showing lower and persistent IQ changes. We also have refined data and studies to actually look at MRI analysis of the brain of people with type 1 versus not in kids too. So this is to emphasize how early this happens. We see neuroanatomical changes, changes in white matter and gray matter. We also know that there's analysis that have shown that been looking at the growth or the developmental trajectory of the brain. High and variable blood glucose levels, which are so pervasive and common. And in fact, frankly, 99% of patients with type 1 do not have normal glycemic control. We know that the diagnosis of mental health disorders post type 1 diabetes diagnosis. We see a doubling of the insulin, sometimes numbers as high as a hazard ratio over 10 for almost every psychiatric disorder. If you actually look at just the acute symptoms of low blood sugar or high blood sugar, which of course is where most people live is in hyperglycemia. These are physical, but also mental health symptoms. Just acutely, we know that this can regulate these factors. But of course, long term, we have data that associates brain changes, cognitive changes, and the higher incidence across the population of type 1 versus not type 1 of psychiatric diagnosis.